Oh, the, the Finnish cattle market is uh, pretty depressed, even compared to last year, which wasn't a great year. And most finishers are finding it very hard to uh, make a profit. And part of that has come down to numerous deductions, whether that's on movements. Um, upper weight limits have meant that some cattle can't be taken up to limits where they um, can actually come into a profit. Um, and so we've got quite a lot of that going on. So most finishers will be feeling quite hard done by at the moment. Um, on the other side, we've got the stores. The stores haven't come back just as much yet. But store prices would be back maybe 60, 70 pounds ahead on where they would have been last year. So there's a lot of effect coming into it. Um, be a lot of people would be blaming imports on that, the cheap euro compared to sterling, and a quantity of beef in Ireland which is up for reasons of them expanding their breeding herd. Oh, it, it's worse than it's been in years. Yeah, it, it, it's a very tough time at the moment for anybody finishing cattle, um, and especially as I said, you know, the different deductions that have come in. Um, have actually really devalued cattle and taken away the chance of being able to um, take the, grow them into a profit. Where before you could buy store cattle, keep them, put some weight on them, you know, over 440, maybe 450 kilos, and that actually was coming into money. Now there, a lot of cattle are capped at 400 kilos, so that's taken away a lot of the chance. 22, 2200, you're on that rail at 2200. Of course, there's, there's the need for promotion of, of beef products, which you know we're always hoping for, but we depend on the retailers to do that. Um, surprisingly, the retailers aren't great at promoting beef at the moment, and I'm all, and what makes me almost wonder if they're frightened of creating the demand. Um, the other side is actually, you know, obviously people buying that they they actually buy towards a British product, which is definitely what Webu wanting them to do. Um, and the, the other side of it is actually that the processors need to give us a chance that whenever they do change the specifications, that they give us a lead-in time. So it doesn't change in a short period of time because cattle, it's a long time before you can actually change what you're producing. We're not like poultry, we're not like that sort of market. We actually take a long time to do it. And our, the processors seem to change specification on a whim. And that leaves you know, somebody ready with fat cattle to go, suddenly they're devalued. And, and that has actually put a real sting into the market. The, the NBA at the moment, we're going around some of the marts. We've been, you know, today we're in New York, but we've also been going, we're going to Carlisle and Hexham, we're going to Welshpool, um, and I think we're also going to Ashford. And the reason is, is actually we believe very much in the strong connection between you know, the, the market for the auction market for producing you know, the price and store cattle is the best means of actually saleable of those cattle. And you know, the NBA, we like to seem to be supporting the markets.